Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about ClickUp API tutorial. Here we will see the overview of API here, like how we can find this option in this platform, how we can get its passcode or thus personal key, and how we can use that key to integrate with any other platform. And if you don't know what is API, so I'll tell you it is an application program interface and it is a way for two or more computer programs to communicate with each other. So to access this feature and overall the ClickUp, we have to go to the browser and there we have to search for ClickUp. We just have to simply go and type ClickUp or you can find its link in the description below. You can either go with that link or maybe the link that you find with the result. You can just simply click onto it and after that you will get onto the website of ClickUp. It will just take few seconds to load and once the loading is done, it will take you to this page. So this one is an interface which is called team space. You might have a different interface than this based on which page you were the last time. So it will take you there the next time you open it. If we have to create an API, therefore we have to go to the settings and settings option is available into this profile icon. Therefore click onto it. You just have to simply click onto it. After that, you have to click onto this settings option and then we will get into the settings. So once you get into your settings, this will be your interface. Go to this left options and just scroll down and this one which says api you just have to simply click on it and after that we have to create an api therefore we have these documentation options you may read it or you can just simply skip it if you want to read it click on it it will open in another tab later on you can see what is included in their api terms and conditions and other stuff related to it once you get back it's time to create an app because we have to create an app and therefore we need an api once you create an app, you just have to name it. It could be anything if let's say if you're creating it for YouTube, then you can just simply name it YouTube or whatever you would like to name it. And after that, you have to paste a link here. If you have a link, then you can just simply paste it here. Otherwise, you can just simply type it here like I am doing. Once you have done with both these things, click onto this create option. After that, you will see we have an ID and we have this password key. So this one is your personal key. Make sure that you don't show it to any other person, but we have to just simply show it so that we can copy it later on. We can use it to put it any other where. Once it get visible, you can just simply copy it. Or if you would like to regenerate it, you can also do that by simply clicking onto this regenerate option. And after that, a new key will be generated. Now it's just time to copy it. Therefore, you first have to simply show this one. Once it gets visible, just simply copy it. And after that, you just have to go to the other app or other platform where you just have to simply put that key there. And then both of these platforms will get integrated. Here you can see the API for YouTube has been developed. You can click onto it. And if you would like to do some changings, you can also do that. And if you would like to turn this one off, you can also do that by just simply clicking onto this option. And if you would like to delete this one, you can also do that. And if you would like to again active this one, you can do that by just simply clicking onto the option which is along with this YouTube option. So that's how you can access this API option. Later on, you can create an API for integration of any other app. Once the key gets created, you just have to simply copy it, go to the second platform, just simply integrate it with the help of your key. Also make sure that you keep that private key safe because if someone else sees that or it just get to someone else, they might use it to replicate your account. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. In case if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and I really appreciate you watching this video till the very end and thank you so much for it.